the Narcissus bolt hole. The bolt hole is a very important location to my kind. It can come in many forms, but the message that it sends to you as our victim is very clear. You are not welcome. Our kind must always have some kind of bolt hole to which we can go. This is our sacred territory, where you are not allowed to venture. When we first engage with you, you should notice two things which invariably occur. Some of our kind spend most of our time where you live. This, of course, enables us to stay by your side as often as we can, monopolising your time as we continue our seduction of you. We isolate you from external influences, draw of your fuel, impose ourselves upon you, a certain control, and organising your march towards potential intimate partner primary source. This also means that your resources are the ones that are used up. It's your food, your cable bill and your utilities that are utilised by the narcissist. And, invariably, most narcissists won't contribute to those bills unless financial largesse is an appropriate manipulation to use. If the narcissist is asked, the narcissist will point out that, well, we have our own overheads to cover, although, of course, they will then be reduced as we're rarely there. Certain narcissists stay at your home and ensure that you provide us with a set of keys so that we may actually come and go. You are invariably not given a set for our house. When we decide that we want to engage in our method of gathering fuel and or we decide to subject you to a period of effective silent treatment, remember, instinctively we're lesser or mid-range or consciously we're greater or ultra, then we will remove ourselves to our house. You then cannot enter, and this enables us to produce an effective silent treatment as part of our control of you. Should you follow us, we are able to watch you pleading and begging from through a gap in the curtains as you turn up wanting to see us, as you try to work out why we have just walked away and disappeared. On the occasions where the narcissist allows you to stay at the narcissist's property, then this is little more than a license which is revocable at a moment's notice. If we want you out of our space, we will turf you out, irrespective of what time it is, what the weather is, or whether it's inconvenient. We do so as part of our assertion of control over you and a provocation in order to draw fuel from you. This action reinforces that it is us who are in control of the relationship and not you. Even if we eventually move in together at one property at some future point as part of the assertion of control over you, or we buy another property together, we manipulate the situation so that your house is sold and the proceeds are used towards the joint property whilst we keep our house on. You may well be puzzled by such a move. Not all narcissists will do this, but it is fairly frequent, and we will find an excuse as to why this is done. We will tell you things such as, it represents a useful investment opportunity, so I'm going to keep this house. Now is not the right time to sell in the area. I need a pierre a for when I work late in the city, so I'm going to keep this property on. But of course, we'll live in the other one all of the time, or most of the time. Um, I want the market to pick up first before I consider selling the property. I don't want to sell it, because my ex-wife will come sniffing around for a share of it. As part of the assertion of control over you and the nullification of any threat to our control by you questioning why we are keeping this property, we find the reason not to sell it. When you question us, of course, you threaten our control and therefore you are given the reason that is explained to you. But also behind that, there is the necessity of maintaining this bolt hole for our purposes. It might be the case that the narcissist provides you with a set of keys for this property, but then when you try to use them to go inside, you find that the door has actually been bolted so you can't access the property. Your shouts of frustration prove to be delicious fuel as we sit and listen to you. Sometimes we will use a hotel room as a bolt hole, or the office or a bar. Sometimes it's a study inside the property to which we can only access. As long as it is somewhere where we can go, and have you guessing as to where we might have gone, or it's a place that we go to and you cannot access, 
so that we are able to do whatever it is we want to do within there, then it serves our purposes as a bolt hole. If there isn't another property available in terms of keeping another house on or using a hotel room, even the inside of a car, a trailer, the office or a bar, then we create a boat hole within the house that we share with you. The study will have a lock fitted and we keep the key on our person all of the time. It may be a man cave in the basement or even the garden shed, but there is one simple rule concerning this property, this bolt hole. It may be in or around our joint property, but you are not to enter it ever. In effect, this is our throne room, where we sit and engage in our schemes. Occasionally, the chosen few will be admitted in order to emphasise to you how you are not special enough to be allowed in, and thus this triangulates you with access to our bolt hole as our friends are invited in, but you are not. It will drive you crazy, wondering what on earth we are doing in this place, especially if some of our guests happen to be of the opposite sex. We will spend hours in this place secreted away, sometimes sleeping there too. Here, we are able to send messages, engage in telephone calls with all of the other appliances, the other sources of fuel, free from interference, yet still gaining fuel from you, either by way of thought fuel as we envisage your frustration at us being once again in this bolt hole, or indeed receiving the proximate fuel as you knock on the door, shout to us, or challenge us when we do emerge from the bolt hole. We can enter the chat rooms, work our way through the dating sites and blitz social media, all entrenched in this control room. We will send you a message compelling you to bring us food or drink, and for it to be left at the door, asserting our control over you, treating you like the appliance that we actually see you as. You may well of course comply in order to try and sneak a glimpse of what is going on inside, or to try and talk to us, yet the door will be invariably pushed closed in your face with no thanks for what you have done, our lack of accountability to you, and our sense of entitlement. On occasions the bolt hole will be temporary in nature. Should we decide that we wish to exercise some withdrawal late at night when you are expecting intimacy and lovemaking, again in order to assert control over you, we will move to sleep in the spare room, sliding across the lock that we had fitted. We lie there as we hear you tapping on the door and sobbing for us to come back to the shared bed. This provides us with fuel and signals we have control over you. The bolt hole is important to the narcissist. It allows us a clear way of reinforcing our control and superiority. It provides a base from which we can engage in our various other interactions with other appliances, non-intimate secondary sources, the intimate partner secondary sources that are being courted, virtual fuel matrix, and it is crucial also with regard to an implementation of a silent treatment and thus the assertion of control over you as the intimate partner primary source in devaluation. If you realise that the person that you have a relationship with creates and uses bolt holes, then you will be dealing with one of us. This is not the situation whereby the individual has created a man cave and you're allowed in, so that you can see that the individual is embarking on his collection of Airfix aeroplane models. It is a secret place, one that you are kept out of, one that is kept lock, locked, a place of secrets, a place where we drift in and out as part of asserting control over you and being able to assert control over other people free from your interference. Now you understand what it is. Now you understand what its purposes are. But understand, you're still not coming in. <laughs>